Hello there and welcome along to the channel once again. Good to see you with me again. Thank you so much to all of my members and subscribers. Your support means a great deal. If you've not clicked subscribe yet, please do hit that button. It takes a second and it's free to do so. New members uh, are coming into the channel thick and fast. Welcome to my most recent members, Ade and Katya, who I know very well and I'm very grateful uh, for you joining our members club. Uh, what are we going to talk about today? Well, things are stirring in the world of Microsoft Entro. Microsoft announced something uh, yesterday as I record this uh, regarding conditional access. What's it all about? Let's find out. <laughs> So announced on November the 6th, automatic conditional access policies in Microsoft Entra, streamline identity protection. This is a big piece of news from Microsoft about uh, some new stuff coming to conditional access. So what does this actually mean? Uh, well, the blog post, which I will put a link to in the chat, uh, it goes to explain this in quite some depth, and there's a lot of history about the the journey Microsoft has been on here, and Microsoft explained that extending their commitment to help customers be secure by default, they are announcing the automatic rollout, so watch out for this, of Microsoft Enter conditional access policies that will automatically protect tenants based on risk signals, licensing, and usage. So this is going to be something that you're going to have to watch out for, much like security defaults and uh, deactivate if not needed or appropriate for you. So, as we scroll down, we get this history lesson about uh, the journey of multi-factor authentication and uh, enter ID protection, but here we go. This is the, the part that we want to get to. Um, what does it all mean? Uh, there's a little bit more history there, but here we go. Uh, Microsoft managed conditional access policies provide clear self-deploying guidance customers can tune the policies or disable them altogether so even the largest most sophisticated organizations can benefit from them over time microsoft are going to offer policies tailored to specific organizations but for the moment they're starting nice and simple which is always the way to go because enabling multi-factor authentication remains the top recommendation for improving identity security posture the first three policies uh, for automated conditional access are MFA related, as summarized here. So, first policy, require MFA for admin portals. Who is this for? It's for all customers. What does it do? The policy covers privileged admin roles and requires multi-factor authentication when an admin signs into a Microsoft admin portal. Very cool. Next one, require MFA for per-user MFA uh, authentication users. So this is uh, existing per user MFA authentication customers. And this policy applies to users with per user MFA and requires a multi-factor authentication for all cloud apps. It helps organizations transition to conditional access. And the third one, require MFA for high risk sign-ins makes perfect sense. This is targeted to Microsoft Enter ID premium plan to customers and the policy covers all users and requires MFA and re-authentication during high risk sign-ons. So Microsoft are telling us here, pay lots of attention to the first policy. It's a strong recommendation and a policy that is going to be deployed on your behalf. That multi-factor authentication protects all user access to admin portal, such as portal.azure.com, the M365 Admin Center, and Exchange Admin Center. So you need to note that while you can opt out of these policies, teams at Microsoft will increasingly require multi-factor authentication for specific interactions, as they already do for certain Azure subscription management scenarios, Partner Center, and Microsoft Intune device rollout. You can view the policies and their impact using the new policy view user experience, which includes a policy summary, alerts, recommended actions, uh, and a policy impact summary. And you can also monitor them by using sign-in and audit logs. You can customize the policies by excluding users, groups, or roles that you want to be exceptions, such as emergency and break glass accounts. If you require more extensive customizations, you can clone a policy and then make as many changes as you want. So when's this happening? 
Microsoft are going to begin a gradual rollout of these policies to all eligible tenants starting next week. This is going to happen quickly. They're going to notify you in advance, so look out for that. Once the policies are visible in your tenant, you'll have 90 days to review and customize or disable them before they are turned on automatically. So you are going to have to watch out for this. For those 90 days, the policies will be in report mode only, which means conditional access will log the policy results without enforcing them. So how does this look within Microsoft Entro? Well, I've logged in here, and as you can see, uh, I'm getting some information about this already. I am seeing that Microsoft Managed Policies will be turned on soon, and unless turned off, uh, we recommend that you review these policies and recommended actions. So, uh, and as you can see, under Policies, we are getting a new category here, Microsoft Managed Policies, and we've got zero out of five. So currently, I don't have the policies in my tenant yet. I will be checking back to see when they appear. Uh, presumably, and let's just collapse as I always like to do this side panel, we'll get a, a column option here for the policies, which um, say something along the lines of, I just accidentally clicked that there, uh, created by Microsoft and created by by customer. So uh, what happens if we click on this learn more? Where does this take us to? Uh, there's a learn.microsoft.com article as well as that uh, newsy bloggy type post that I've been sharing from. So here we go. Microsoft Managed Policies. All the details are in here as well. And it tells you all about what you need to know. So brilliant stuff indeed. Love this. Uh, as more developments happen with this, and when they appear in my tenant, you can be sure that I'll show you more. But I think this is a, a good step in the right direction on conditional access from Microsoft. So there you have it, automatic conditional access policies. Something that I think is a good step, um, having Microsoft manage some of these conditional access policies. I think communication on how these are rolled out is going to be key, because much like security defaults, uh, it's important that people know that these are there, know what is going to happen with them, and uh, there are no nasty surprises. So uh, let's hope uh, that that is going to be a nice, smooth transition and process as they get rolled out to various tenants. Let me know what you think about automatic conditional access policies. Good thing, bad thing? Uh, are you indifferent to it? Love to hear what you think in the comments. Right, that's it for another video. Uh, as always, please do give me a like if you think I've earned it. A thumbs up always means the world to me and it helps me uh, reach a wider audience and produce more content for you. Uh, until next time, I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.